Hello everyone, I am Piyush. I am a program manager on the Windows Communication Foundation team. And I am excited to bring you a nice little demo where we will be showcasing some of the new exciting features that we are bringing you for WCF 4.5. So you know the Olympics were going on in London earlier. And whenever I had to get any updates, any result updates, I had to go to this website and where I can see the result updates. The thing is that if there is a live event being played on, I don't have a way of seeing those updates as they are happening when the game is being played. I have to still go to my client and keep on refreshing it manually to get those updates from the server. And the underlying issue is that all the communication for the web, it happens over HTTP as the protocol. And HTTP, as you know, is a request response protocol where the server can only talk back when the client asks it to. And that's the problem. The server cannot independently send back updates to the client. Therein enters WebSockets. WebSockets is an exciting new technology, a protocol that enables these kind of scenarios. WebSockets, the easiest way to understand it is to separate the two words, web and sockets. By web, I mean all the communication for web happens over HTTP and for a reason. The reason being that HTTP is a protocol which has wide reach. It can traverse firewalls and proxies. When you combine the powerful nature of sockets over HTTP as the protocol, you get WebSockets. It provides you this bidirectional duplex communication over HTTP. How it works is that the initial handshake works over HTTP, and once the handshake is completed, the communication falls down to use raw TCP sockets. In WCF, we have added support for WebSockets using a new binding called NetHD binding, and that's what I'm going to show you in the demo. The whole setup of the demo is that I have an IS-hosted WCF service that I have hosted in an Azure VM role. And on my client side, I'm using a Windows Store app. Yes, WCF is also supported in a Windows Store app, so you can create a service reference to an external web service in a Windows Store app and use a WCF client to talk to external web services. So we will have a Windows Store app having a service reference to an external web service, and it will use WebSockets to talk to this Azure-hosted WCF service. Let's check out the demo. On the server side, I have logged in to my Azure portal, and this is the virtual machine that I have created. This virtual machine is using Windows Server 2012. The only thing that I have done here is to add a new TCP endpoint over port 80, and this is to enable WebSockets communication. And as you can see, this will go over port 80. Let's check out the server side code. This is the service that I have deployed in Azure. And the actual implementation of this service is pretty simple. It uses a data contract called score details, which has three members. And this is the data that the server will push down to the client. The service contract uses this interface called iScore duplex. And this is a simple method called getScore14. The client will call this method saying that, hey, I want to get updates for this team. And then in this callback method called update score, the server will send back updates to the client using this data contract called score details. If I look at the actual implementation, this is the standard way how we have implemented duplex programming in WCF. So in the constructor, I'm getting an instance of this callback using this operation context.current.callback channel. And in the implementation, I'm using this callback instance to send back push out updates from the server to the client side. And this is just running in a loop. In the actual config of this particular project, I'm using this NetHD binding, which I said, since I am using a duplex contract, it will automatically enable WebSockets protocol under the hood. And just to show you that this is a normal binding, I'm changing the message encoding here from the default binary to text. 
If I look at the service visitor, in the service visitor, the interesting thing is you are using this WS as the prefix. So, WS stands for WebSockets. And then the other interesting part is if you see this SOAP binding transport, we are using this WebSocket protocol. Let's check out how the client looks like. So, I am using a Windows Store app. And what I have done is to add a service reference to this Azure hosted WCF service. There are some interesting things that I want to talk about. The Windows Store apps, they don't support the traditional XML based configuration. So, when we do a add service reference, we generate equivalent code for you. If you see the methods like the get binding for endpoint and get endpoint address, you will see this equivalent code generated for the binding and for the endpoint address. So, like here, you can see this WebSocket URI that the client is going to connect to and get updates from the service. Another interesting thing here is that we generate an async, a task based async method for your service method. And this is because the Windows Store apps, they are UI based apps. And that means that we don't want to block any threads when we are calling a background operation. And that is why we generate an async operation so that you call this async operation and don't block any threads. In the implementation on my Windows Store app, I have a simple button. This button, when clicked, it will connect to the Azure hosted WCF servers. It will establish a WebSockets connection. And once the WebSockets connection has been established, the server will start pushing the score updates on the client. The interesting thing is the duplex programming model, which is a bit different, which is a bit simplified for the Windows Store apps. Here, what I'm doing is to register a particular event with the proxy. And this event is essentially going to fire up every time the server pushes down updates to the client. And this is different and much more simplified than what we are accustomed to in normal WCF programming. Let's run the demo. So the Windows Store app, it runs. When I click this button, it will establish this WebSockets connection to the server. And here you can see that it has started getting these updates from the Azure hosted WCF service. Let's see what's going on under the hood. So I have this fiddler running here. And if you see this particular session, the client sent this HTTP GET request to the server saying that, hey, do you support an upgrade to WebSockets? And since the server supported WebSockets, it sent this upgrade header saying that, hey, yes, I can support WebSocket. Once the handshake has been completed, the communication has fallen down to use raw TCP sockets. And that's where the server is pushing down updates to the client. And if you see in the log, you can see all the messages that the server is pushing down to the client. So you can see this particular SOAP message, which the service is sending to the client, and which we are parsing on the Windows Store app, and we are displaying it in a more visual format. That concludes my demo. Thanks for tuning in. And we are glad to bring you all the exciting new features from WCF 4.5. Thank you.